the topic that we're going to talk about is how to mix audio for how to mix audio levels for an independent film versus um, documentary versus uh, independent trailer. So they require three different mixes. As you probably remember, we talked about this, right? Yeah. The dy dynamic range. First thing is dynamic range of the different media. So the dynamic range of a, a film. If it's like a feature film or a short film, it doesn't really matter. The dynamic range is going to be similar. It's going to be probably 30 decibels and maybe 40 decibels with the bass. So if your quietest sound to your loudest sound, it's going to be fairly dynamic as opposed to a TV commercial, which is a lot less dynamic from lowest level to highest level. So when feature films or short films even are are uh, mixed, they're mixed with a considerable dynamic range so that when people are talking they talk at conversational levels and when there's a loud sound effect it's enough to jar you out of your seat because you're watching hopefully in a theater so you can get that kind of effect. When a commercial is mixed, it's mixed with very little dynamic range and therefore there's nothing up here competing. So you can push the whole level up higher and the whole thing appears louder. So. Let's go back to like uh, you're mixing your own film soundtrack. You want your dialogue to sit around conversational levels, which we would normally hear at around 60, anywhere from 58 to 63 decibels. We'll say 60, 63. I like 63 decibels or so for dialogue. And then your loudest sound effect would be way up here, which would be uh, maybe closer to 100 decibels. But the loudest sound effect is a transient sound and it's not going to last that long. It's just a very, very short lived signal. The music is somewhere in between, but you have your dialogue as a reference and you have your loudest sound effect up here and your music somewhere in between. So there's no real gold standard of where to mix dialogue, but the idea is when people are sitting watching a, a movie, you want to have dialogue at a consistent level so people understand all the dialogue. You can't mix your dialogue too low because it's going to be in the noise of the uh, people in the theater. They're going to be making popcorn noise and stuff like that, shuffling around and coughing and whatever. Dialogue's got to be above that. Background sound can be just above or around audi audience noise, but loudest sound effect is up here somewhere. So keeping that in mind, um, how, do, how do we establish that? Well, first of all, we have to consider something called the X curve in a theater. That is, um, it is a SMPTE standard. It was observed that high frequency got attenuated in large theaters, so you're not going to get a lot of high frequency response. Somewhere around 2K, 2 kilohertz to 20 kilohertz is a roll off of highs. It's a natural roll off in large cinemas, but because of the way the system was, you know, adapted or brought in, let's just say brought in, um, people use that as a, a measurement of a theater. So theaters are supposedly tuned to this X curve thing. Not everybody agrees on this X curve, but there is a high frequency attenuation. You can mix your soundtrack with speakers three feet away from your ears, but what does it sound like when you're sitting two thirds of the way back in a cinema? Well, you have to simulate it somehow. So we'll talk about the simulation in a minute. There's also a reverberation time in a cinema. According to certain textbooks, uh, there's just there's a lot of information about that. We don't have to go into anything specific. But one textbook, for example, on designing cinema sound says that uh, typical large cinemas might be just under a second of reverb time. So 0.85 seconds, somewhere around there. So there's going to be a little bit of reverb time and it's going to be a warm reverb. Meaning more bass frequencies are going to reverberate than high frequencies. Because if you look around your typical cinema, which you guys have probably seen, right, you'll see um, all the seats are plush, they're very, very soft, so that when the cinema's half full, it's gonna sound very similar to when it's full. So they're not, you know, they're already there absorbing a lot of the sound. So the high frequencies aren't gonna bounce around as much. Plus you have absorbers on the sidewalls which are going to absorb higher frequencies, well, mid and high frequencies. So you tend to get a warm reverb and a high frequency attenuation in the theater. So you have to simulate this if you want to uh, figure out what it's gonna sound like before it gets to the cinema. So how do sound people determine how loud a soundtrack is? A uh, soundtrack would be, um, first of all, you'd have to calibrate your speakers to 85 decibels. Each speaker you're listening to would have pink noise put through it and a sound pressure level meter would read 85 decibels for each speaker. Once that is done, your speakers are at a set level based on where you are sitting so that when you mix dialogue, it's going to be somewhere under 85 dB and when you mix loudest sound effect, it's going to be somewhere over 85 dB. They shouldn't be too close, yet they shouldn't be too far. So it shouldn't be too compressed 
or it shouldn't be too dynamic. It's got to be somewhere in there. So it's kind of, uh, you got to feel for it. The only real way you're going to know how a soundtrack is going to sound in a cinema is if you mix your film soundtrack in a cinema. That's it. That's the only way you're going to know, really. But what's cinema? They're all a little bit different. They got different absorption characteristics, different reverb time, different sizes. So you're really going for one mix that more or less fits all within it, within a given. Uh, we talked about tolerance range, right? Like, what are you willing to tolerate with uh, with the soundtrack? Are you willing to tolerate? Um, first of all, let's talk about. It. Let's go over tolerance. What are you, are you willing to live with something that's not quite perfect? It's going to change from cinema to cinema, but there's going to be a more or less accurate guess as to how loud or how dynamic your soundtrack should be. Dialogue should be the reference that you're using and then loudest sound effect. So when we have a digital workstation, we have zero decibels at the top, working our way down into negative decibel numbers. But in the real world, zero doesn't really match up with real world levels because zero decibels in the real world means that's the threshold of our hearing and the loudest thing we can tolerate is about 120 decibels. That's 120 decibel dynamic range. Soundtrack is gonna be about 30 or 40. Well, it's gonna be much less than that. So we have to take that in consideration. You mix your dialogue and then you mix everything around it. Going back to the digital workstation, we have a cap at zero dB and we have to estimate where dialogue would sit under zero dB and then where the loudest sound effect would be. So um, I developed a simulation, a cinema simulation to uh, simulate what your picture edits would look like and what your sound would sound like in a cinema. And what this, how this works is with a flat pair of headphones. You listen with the flat pair of headphones, you add 0.85 seconds, or you add various reverb times, let's say, and you, you simulate this so-called high frequency attenuation and low frequency attenuation um, X-curve thing. So you simulate those, and then you have a little, a virtual cinema environment with a bunch of seats and a simulated screen. In front of you, it's only this big, but when you actually peer into the world of this cinema, you can actually simulate what it would look and sound like. So it's a great little tool for independent filmmakers to simulate what your soundtrack and what your picture might look like in a simulated cinema. The only one thing I want to add is, um, how do you know what your soundtrack and what your picture is going to look like, especially the sound, up against uh, another movie? You put another movie into the program. You don't touch anything and then you put your soundtrack. So you'd have to get a clip or something from your favorite movie, the one you want to design around, as a reference and then mix yours according to that reference and you can make uh, some good estimations about how loud your audio and should be and how it might sound in a cinema. A c c cinema. Okay? I don't know. That's probably too long.